Plastic in, in art has been used by a lot of artists actually. If you look at, for example, Babun Bogey's Tillis, he uses plastic as well, and his works create beautiful. So that's the first example that you can look at and how plastic can be used. And you come back, you look at the Ndebele cultures, how they weave, met, and start using plastic. You come back and look at um, some artists who make flowers. Like when I remember when I started making, going to this art um, Saturday art classes, would use plastic to make flowers and stuff, which those can be sold, right? And it's easier now to take that material and sell it with an average job. They don't share it in the township. People have more, they're familiar with those mediums, like with those products, if you get flowers. You look at um, meds and some of the things, decorative projects that you get, um, things that you can make for households. So, first you look at even the individuals in the townships, not only in the townships, but back in rural areas, right? You can use plastic, you can bring, um, you can give them some kind of jobs because if you look at most um, old grains in townships, or in in, in areas, they don't have things. You can bring plastics, and they can be really equipped with knowledge of how to weave and stuff. They can start weaving using plastic, which has been done, but now it's a mess for water. They can start doing that again, and those can be sold, right? Coming back to townships, kids can start using that to create their. Um, you can even create shoes. Because when I grew up, we used to create flip flops using plastics and stuff. Those can be created and sold for tourists and stuff. They can make art out of that. You can bring them to people like Nobogini and Tillis for inspiration that they can see that this can be created and you can sell it for thousands. So plastic has a bigger market in the art industry that people need to tap into. So if, 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 if I could say maybe if, if, plus if I could get a chance to use it, I could interfere, yeah, I could, like for example some of my works, yes in a bed, maybe it can be bad, but I bend plastic to get the fumes from that plastic to create some of the works, even directing the smoke to a better place, that's why I'm saying yeah. there are downfalls in it, because if maybe you can have a great ventilation in a room where it because you find that some fans can clean air and bring it out in the night. So if you find those things, which is going to be expensive, but I bend plastic to create some of my works. Then I can teach some people how to make art, because I used to make sculptures out of plastic. One of my projects in when I do my second year, I was recycling plastic, which from that project, I did a guest lecture on recycling plastic. So I think it just now needs people to be aware of what's happening around them so they can know what to use because knowledge is there, they just need to remember.